Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. I thought I'd do another video while it's booming outside and I've got me a uh, cup of tea there. I thought I'd do the, the cork bark elm, which I swapped to me, me mate. It's in the Walsaw Ceramics pot, which they do make lovely pots, Walsaw Ceramics. It just needs a prune and the moss cleaning off the bark. They'll be getting no wire on it. I put wire on it last year just to bend the main branches down a bit. But I think they're alright for now. Once it gets a prune, maybe it's next year, I'll add some more wire on it. I don't want to keep wiring it every year because it'll stress the tree out. And I want it to recover off the first wiring. We've got a couple of little weeds in there. But we'll just pull them out. Actually, this is one of the good trays without weights. I'm showing off with my tweezers now, aren't I? I'm only using my tweezers because there's only about five weights in it. I wish they were all like that. You see all the moss on the bottom of the bark, on the bottom of the trunk, sorry. We don't want that, because it'll retain water and it'll end up rotting the trunk. So we need to get that off. And what we'll be doing with the leaves, like any other Chinese elm, we'll be cutting back to about, I'd say two to three leaves, maybe four. It all depends what you your branches like anything going straight down I want to take off we've got a cluster in here at the back just growing straight up so I want to take all them off because I don't want no leaves or branches that fall back on this tree. So I'm just going to remove them. All I'll do is I'll just keep working around. This branch is starting to grow up the hill, but next year I'll get some wire on and I can bring it back down. So what I'll do is I'll just bend it down to where I want it, then I'll cut the shoots off. And if I keep it like that, when I wire it, that'll be my pad. I'll do the same with this one. So we've got that grown down which I'll take off and then I'll just cut back to a few pair of leaves so when I wire it it'll look like that I would do cuttings but like I see it got no space I need to get rid of trays I even attempt to do other ones. I really just want about 20 good trees. But if I only have 20 good trees, then I'll have nothing to work on once they're all done. So I could be talking crap. <laughs> I just keep pruning till I get the desired pad I want. Mm -hmm. 
this could be one of the smallest trays which I've got in my collection which I'll actually like I started bonsai with elms and then what you bought buy from there uh, garden centers and that I started with a load of them in the bedroom literally full I built shelves in the bedroom and I had about 20 indoor grown bonsais on it but as you know you need to keep trees outside inside doesn't do them justice they can call them indoor bonsais but they don't thrive like they do outside I had a load of air uh, we count tropical ones and when I eventually moved my trees outside I killed a lot of them so I started to go to native trees or grow in our climate like larches, hawthorns, yews so I knew if I left them out for the winter they would be okay so there's our pad done there so when I get some wire on it's about right So with the apex, I'm just gonna. Well, that's a pad there, so I'll bend that down while I'm pruning. As soon as you get a bit of heat here in the northeast of England, you can smell all the barbecues. If you wait till about nine o'clock, you'll hear all the coppers, because everyone will be pissed and they'll be fighting. Which good night you just stand at your door and laugh at the house we've got loads growing in here off the trunk which I don't want Because pretty much all my branches are developed what I want on this tree. So I don't want to start again with the daft little thin branch. And again, there's loads of little bits on the inside. That was growing down, so I took it off. That's going backwards. <laughs> That'll be a nice little pad there. Getting hungry now, smelling all that barbecue gear. had a little quick prune I know it doesn't look much but if you think what I was like think if you got in mind what I was doing when I was pulling them down pruning them the pads would be in place in the minute they just look like they're straight up and out well that's really all I want to take off that I'll gather it all up and I'll show you exactly what I took off it. Mm. Which is a canny bit. I know it doesn't look like it, but there's a canny bit come off that. So, to remove the bark, water, and with it being carved bark elm, I'm just going to use a toothbrush. I don't want to use a wire brush, because we'll take the old bark off, and I want to keep it on.
like that. Just do it gently with a toothbrush instead of a wire brush. It will keep it on for us. So there we go, they look like sticking up in the air but once I wire it down gently the pads will be in place what I want. That's everything I've took off which is a canny chunk considering what was on the tray. That's just a short video on pruning the Chinese elm and taking the moss off the trunk so it doesn't rot the bottom of the trunk nice wall saw ceramic pot which I like so it'll go back on the bench now and probably need a couple of more prunings before the winter so we'll do an update on it later on so if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you later boys and girls and have a good one mm -hmm.